Do you ever find your happiness hinging on someone else's actions? That's the trap of attachment. Imagine you're in a relationship where your mood fluctuates based on your partner's actions. One sweet text message elevates your spirits, while their silence sends you spiraling into the abyss of anxiety. This emotional roller coaster, my friends, is the trap of attachment. Attachment is a powerful force that can distort our emotions, making our happiness heavily reliant on someone else's behavior. It's like a parasite, feeding off your self-worth and leaving you in a constant state of emotional turmoil. Let's take a journey into the life of Alex. Alex was the epitome of a person trapped in the clutches of attachment. His happiness was a puppet, and the strings were firmly in the hands of his partner. Every ignored call, every delayed response, every perceived slight would send him tumbling into a vortex of insecurity and despair. This overattachment was not just draining him emotionally, it was also poisoning his relationship. His partner began to feel suffocated, leading to a cycle of resentment and guilt that eventually tore them apart. But the story doesn't end here. The breakup was a wake-up call for Alex. He realized that his emotional stability had been hijacked by his overattachment. It was an unhealthy pattern, one that was robbing him of his peace of mind and the ability to enjoy his relationship. Recognizing these unhealthy patterns is the first step towards emotional freedom. It's about understanding that your happiness should not be a prisoner of someone else's actions. After all, we are the authors of our own emotions, aren't we? Stay tuned for the next scene where we'll discuss how to break free from the shackles of external validation. Ever waited anxiously for a text or a social media like? That's the trap of external validation. Let's dive into the story of James. James was a vibrant, confident individual until he began tying his self-worth to his partner's actions. He would constantly seek approval through texts, social media likes, and comments. He'd spend hours, even days, anxiously waiting for his partner's response. His happiness became reliant on someone else's behavior, and this dependence took a toll on his self-esteem. His vibrant personality started to fade, and he became more anxious, insecure, and emotionally unstable. James' story is not uncommon. Many of us fall into the trap of external validation, seeking approval from others to feel good about ourselves. But this constant need for validation can diminish our self-worth and lead to anxiety. But here's the thing. Our worth is not defined by how others perceive us. It's defined by how we perceive ourselves. We need to realize that our happiness should never be reliant on someone else's behavior or opinion. Alex took the first step towards breaking free from this trap by recognizing his unhealthy patterns. He started emphasizing self-acceptance and began to regain control over his emotions. He understood that he didn't need anyone's approval to feel good about himself. This shift in perspective made a significant difference in Alex's life. He became more confident, less anxious, and his self-worth soared. Alex's story is a powerful reminder that we hold the key to our happiness and self-esteem. Remember, self-acceptance is your strongest weapon against the trap of external validation. Ever dwelled on past relationships, blaming yourself or others? That's where a perspective shift is needed. In the grand scheme of things, relationships aren't just about romance or companionship. They're life's classroom, a space for growth, self-discovery, and learning about what we value in others and ourselves. Each one, no matter how it ends, has something to teach us. Consider the story of Leah. She had a string of relationships that ended in heartbreak. Each time, she found herself spiraling into self-blame, wondering where she went wrong. But one day, she decided to view her past not as a series of failures, but as lessons. Leah started to reflect on each relationship, recognizing patterns and identifying areas where she could grow. She saw how she'd often compromised her needs for the sake of her partners. She acknowledged her tendency to rush into commitments without truly understanding the person she was with. With each revelation, Leah grew stronger, more self-aware. She learned to set boundaries, to communicate more effectively, to take things slow and really get to know her partner before diving in. This shift in perspective didn't just make her more resilient. It made her a better partner, a better person. You see, when we view past relationships as failures, we miss the opportunity to learn and grow. We get stuck in a cycle of blame and regret. But when we see them as lessons, as stepping stones on our journey to becoming better versions of ourselves, we evolve. We become more self-aware, more understanding, 
more compassionate. So the next time you find yourself dwelling on a past relationship, take a moment to reflect. What did you learn? How have you grown? How can this experience shape you into a better person, a better partner? Remember, every relationship, good or bad, is a lesson, not a failure. Ever felt like your emotions are controlled by others? That's where detachment comes in. Imagine being on a roller coaster, your feelings rising and falling with every twist and turn of another person's actions. It's a ride that leaves you dizzy, exhausted, and disoriented. Have you been there? That's what it's like when you're too attached. But let's introduce the concept of detachment. Detachment is like stepping off that roller coaster. It's about releasing the emotional burdens that weigh you down and focusing on creating healthier connections. It's not about losing feelings or becoming cold. It's about choosing your well-being over the turmoil of an emotionally draining relationship. Picture a woman named Sarah. She was in a relationship where she felt constantly anxious, always waiting for the next text or call to validate her worth. She realized she was on that roller coaster, her happiness entirely dependent on someone else's behavior. But Sarah decided she wanted to reclaim control. She practiced detachment. She started by acknowledging her feelings without letting them control her actions. She reminded herself that her worth wasn't tied to anyone else's opinion. She started focusing on herself, her interests, her passions. Sarah learned to enjoy her own company, to find joy in solitude. With time, Sarah noticed a change. The constant anxiety was gone. She was no longer on the roller coaster. She was in control. She was able to form healthier relationships, ones that added to her happiness instead of defining it. Sarah's story is a testament to the power of detachment. It's proof that you can step off that roller coaster, that you can reclaim control. So, if you ever feel like your emotions are in someone else's hands, remember Sarah's story. Remember that you have the power to step off that roller coaster, to detach from the emotional turmoil. Remember, detachment is about reclaiming control, not losing feelings. Ever doubted your worth because of someone's actions? That's where self-trust comes into play. It's like building a house. Without a strong foundation, the structure is likely to crumble under pressure. In the same way, self-trust is the bedrock of healthy relationships. It gives you the strength to weather the storms of heartbreak and rejection, keeping your emotional well-being intact, no matter the external circumstances. Now, picture a woman named Lisa. Once, she was caught in a cycle of codependency, always seeking validation from her partner. But a turning point came when she realized that her happiness was in her own hands. She started to cultivate self-love, treating herself with the same kindness and respect she'd always given others. And guess what? She found an emotional freedom she'd never experienced before. But how does one build this self-trust? Well, it starts with self-acceptance. Embrace your strengths, acknowledge your flaws, and remember, it's okay to make mistakes. Each misstep is an opportunity for growth. It's about choosing to trust yourself, even when the world around you is uncertain. Meanwhile, emotional freedom, another cornerstone of healthy relationships, is about redirecting your energy. Instead of obsessing over someone else's actions, focus on your personal growth and passions. This not only fosters a sense of independence, but also makes you more magnetic to others. Just like Lisa, who found joy in painting and traveling, and in the process, discovered a new, vibrant side of herself. In the end, it's about understanding that your worth is not defined by someone else's actions or opinions. It's defined by how you see yourself, by the love you have for yourself, and by the trust you place in your abilities. It's about embracing the beautiful, flawed, unique individual that you are, and knowing deep down that you are enough just as you are. Remember, you are enough just as you are. Your worth is not defined by someone else's actions. Ladies, there you have it. Remember, you are worthy of a relationship that is true, fulfilling, and aligned with your deepest values. Trust your instincts, listen to your heart, and never settle for anything less than extraordinary. If you enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Until next time, keep sparkling. Like and subscribe to our channel.